Hey guys, it's Jedi Lex, and come with me to check out Jay Wakefield Brewery for a live audience podcast with special guest Dimitri Karish and Adisha Radpour. Jay Wakefield Brewing is a craft brewery and tap room located in the heart of Miami's Wynwood Art District. It's my favorite brewery to visit in South Florida for its amazing Star Wars decor and wall-length murals. They have all kinds of specially crafted draft beers with unique names that are oftentimes related to Star Wars. I ended up trying their It's Turbo Time Sour, which is a cherry-infused wise, which was absolutely phenomenal, and my buddy Jake James tried their Red Leader Standing By, which is a Russian Imperial Stout, which he said was delicious. Then we set up outside to do a live audience podcast that was streamed on Instagram Live with Dimitri and Adisher, who are both stuntmen and actors on various Star Wars projects, including The Mandalorian, Ahsoka, The Book of Boba Fett, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. They ended up letting me hop on as a guest host about halfway through, but here are some clips of the podcast that I caught before hopping on and after. Fandom and how they interact with the franchise and how much uh, like enthusiasm and love and passion they have for it and it kind of sparks my own a little bit um, like I I had seen the like the the main installments of, of the Star Wars uh, films and um, probably out of order and, original and trilogy. Of, of course I mean I saw the original trilogy when I was a kid and, and I followed up kind of here and there but I wasn't like watching in the theaters and then at some point uh, after I was already on it and started getting my interactions with, with uh, people at conventions and stuff, I was like, you know what, I'm going to sit down and actually watch it all the way through from like start to finish in the correct order. And I was like, yeah, it kind of, it, it definitely increased my my appreciation for it that much more. And also as just a, the entertainment value of it, I feel like I got a lot more out of it actually just sitting down and, and watching it all the way through and, and I just enjoyed it a lot more than I did as a kid watching it kind of in pieces and, and uh, kind of sporadically out of order. So. Um, so I definitely consider myself more of a fan now than I than it used to be, and um, yeah, I, I will say it's amazing because I know this for a fact that the very first time Dimitri ever saw Rogue One That's was true. at Flynn's Arcade That's and More. We right. screened it at Flynn's Arcade and More, yeah. and yeah. it's wild because you can't have a total different flip side of the coin. Uh, you and Adish should do a lot of work together off and on screen. And Artist is five or first. I mean, he's huge, hardcore, yes. all about. He's part of that through this guy. Yeah, yeah. Li- living the dream. Didn't squad. slip into it as a, as a, as one of his projects. Like it's the project he aims for. Like they can offer. I bet probably the smallest part in one of the Star Wars movies that's come up with Ray or whatever, and he'll drop like a massive project with speaking roles and everything just to be in that. Cause he's a hardcore Star fan. What is it like having to bring this guy along <laughs> and teach him the ways of the love of Star Wars? Uh, you know, when he, because obviously you accept fans and then he's learning and he's growing and he's enjoying it. But for you, it's like you are a fan when you accept a fan. So here's the thing. Um, I'm the exact opposite of Dimitri. I, I grew up on this lore and yeah. also, having a Zoroastrian Persian background, it's tied heavily into my upbringing. But here's the beautiful part about Star Wars, right? Um, You can grow up maybe just watching it and it's just a movie. You can grow up a complete fan, you know, and somehow you kind of find some subject matter to speak about, right? You you can, like I always say, you can take, you know, a president of the United States, drop him off in the middle of like Asia or Africa or somewhere else. And people are like, "Ah, I think he kind of looks around. Drop Darth Vader off. And everybody knows who it is, right? Yep. So there's that commonality that brings us together. So now let's just say, for oh, yeah. example, where there's a movie for, you know, Dimitri, it's just a movie. And for me, it's lore. It comes to life. We get on there and some experience brings us together. And we're like, hang on a second. We kind of share like, you know, like-mindedness That's and something cool. like that, right? So forget Star Wars, you know, in the stunt community, we get a chance to kind of share along like, hey, we did this in the past together. We did this not even at the same time in this world, but then I can literally say this, quote unquote, but the literal sense, I just hired Dimitri to do the hottest stunt he's ever done. Yeah. Hottest. Yeah. Yeah. Hottest. hottest. What is hottest? Like, like, was that in, co- awesome. is that in the Western that's coming I, out? Cotton I, cotton I, I lit him on fire. Oh my God. Whoa. So literally the hottest stunt. What do you say was that, after? Was that for a Star Wars project or was that for a Western? No, thank no, you. That it was a Western. Oh, Cotton Mouth? And, and, yeah. And so um, it, it, it ended up being really cool. So I, I have... You know, obviously through our personal relationship and then, of course, the Star Wars world, then I look at him as like, hey, there's my friend. There's another Star Wars guy. There's a a, a stunt performer. So you take extra interest in making sure that, hey, not only is he safe, of course, that's the thing. But I'm like, oh, my God, cool, man. Look what my bro did. 
we just lit him on fire. He just got to do a really badass stunt, you know. So he owes you one. He gets to fire at some point. No, no, no. You know what? Let, let me tell you something. If you're if you're if you're truly doing stunts properly, nobody ever owes you anything because I mean, unless they're paying you for the stunt, that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. But his performance is is all the payment I ever needed because it's just the enjoyment of seeing that. It knocked it out of the park. Oh, yeah. So I was really happy with that. To uh, Jedi I like. Thanks, Shout so. out to JD uh, Jake James Vugo. See you guys are Arcade and more. And of course, follow our fellows so you can get all the information of all the other spots that will be at throughout the country uh, and uh, international as well. Uh, different cons and things and appearances they got going. So thank you again, guys, for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank for you guys, guys for having Instagram. us. I had a great time at this event last night, and it was a pleasure getting to be a guest host on a live audience podcast with some of my local South Florida Star Wars buddies. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, or even click to watch one of my other videos, and may the force be with you.